Hi folks, my name is Greg Turner, the radiology coach. My job is to demystify the enigmatic world of x-rays. It is very common for patients to want copies of their x-rays after medical treatments. This might be because they are fascinated with looking at their own anatomy and pathology, or they simply want it as a record to file. But usually, patients require images and radiology reports so they can take them to a referring doctor. Over time, this process has become a little easier. Because of the onset of digital imaging, film can be stored in a variety of different ways and formats. Historically, film was, well, film. If you needed a copy of an x-ray, facilities simply loaned you the images to take to your next appointment. Gradually, film copiers, which transferred images from x-ray film to copy film, became more prevalent. There are still places that do provide this same service, using x-ray film, but this is a rapidly decelerating trend. Now, most hospitals, clinics, and imaging centers are digital, which means that x-rays are captured on an imaging plate, which in turn translates the x-rays into a digital signal and subsequently displays them onto a computer screen. This opens the door for patients to receive their films in a variety of formats and storage capacities. With the onset of software developments, X-rays are redundantly stored. In medical facilities, your X-rays are kept on record for at least seven years after each exam. Clinics are legally obligated to keep your records no less than this time period. The storage archives are typically kept in a type of software known as PACS, which stands for Picture Archiving and Communication Systems. This software generally stores your images in a language called DICOM. The DICOM format stores your images in an encrypted form with your personal demographics and information attached. In a separate database, your radiology report or doctor's findings is stored. When you are asking for your x-ray films, be sure to ask for both the x-rays and the radiology report, unless your referring doctor simply wants the report. This can be managed via fax or encrypted communication. You can request your films in different ways. If you have access to your hospital or clinic portal, you can simply log in and download x-rays and reports onto your home computer. In most cases today, imaging centers will provide to you a CD or DVD that you can insert into your computer and it will automatically open a proprietary software for your convenience. You'll be able to see and review your x-rays within the software. But now more facilities are offering the option of storing on a flash drive because laptops have become more of the norm for the general population and many laptops have forsaken CD players in their design. If your images are provided on a flash drive, they may be converted into more simple formats like JPEG or TIFF files. This, in turn, puts the responsibility of opening the files on the end user or patient, not the host facility. With the onset of electronic medical records and personal health records, it is wise for patients to opt into storing their medical records in a single location. This is for easy access when individuals have multiple caregivers or specialists. These personal health records can be found on the internet. There is often a monthly charge, but the trade-off is well worth it. Soon, many of these platforms will be automated to capture and store all points of data for you. As a side note, don't be surprised when you go to a facility, especially a hospital, and they charge you for access to your records. This is common because it does require manual labor and materials to retrieve your information. I hope this answers your question on how to get copies of your x-rays. If you like this presentation, please select the subscribe button below this video. You can also tap the bell next to it so that we'll notify you when other great videos have posted. My name is Greg Turner and I'm the Radiology Coach. And remember, mark my word and mark your films.